don't always be tough hombres. Jim Austin. Austin tends. Then, once he's got that dialed in, he throws more power punches. But there's a left cross already. Just to avoid the slow starts that have typified some of his efforts. And also, he wants there's to try left cross. You narrow his stance from this kind of thing? Yeah, it was in the area where I spent most of my time with Leonard was on balance. Chris and Matt, you're going to see a little bit of everything. Boxing, punching, some mixture. As he fights one of his better first rounds and takes a left hook, stepping in against Marquez. Both guys are shooting that power punch. It's very left through the center is going to be weapons, biggest weapon for Austin. Here, as in this fight, it's Marquez who's getting off to the slower start. It, which is a much more fluid fighter. First three rounds, Emmanuel, is a very high level of respect. Yes, it is. It goes on and it pretty much determines his own style. It's going to change a lot. They're both is a good puncher, too. It's one thing to remember. He's a very good puncher. Now Marquez starts. Marquez missed with the... So now. He's got a little abrasion, does Marquez, across the bridge oh, of his nose. Good shot. And don't forget, Palma, good punches, and they can turn that fight around with one single punch. As Marquez almost other with power punches in there. And Marquez is having a two. But in the third round, Rafael Marquez finally started to move his hands, landed nice right hands. I thought he connected really. Marquez won the third round, two to one to Austin. And he hurts yeah, Austin right, with right hand. He yeah. has hurt Austin here. Timmy Wobbles back into the corner. Marquez attacks. But quick with his hands. Yeah. Still a the counter. Still a and the one right hand truly stunned Austin as he wobbled back into the but, corner, but righted himself. The balance. Here's a good left hand by Austin, stemming the tide of Mark Marquez until the last 20 seconds. Big left hand by Austin. Two to oh, he usually can get his punches off faster than Timmy. Marquez land. See that right, right, right there together, one bit more faster. Popped him with the right hand inside. Yeah, yeah. Mostly tactical round. Taylor is fighting sharp here, so a lot of the black fighters are more. It's spread apart. It looks like you, yeah. could, you could set a tent on them. Art stands. Well, it limits it you is. to one punch it, at a time. It is, and that's why Timmy doesn't throw combinations that affect him a lot. Because by the end of him, he's got to stretch off balance. Good right hand by Austin as of his own. So he's, both guys beginning to bury a little. He's gradually using his way back into this fight. Like just steadily touching his man all the time. Just touching him. Sudden step up. Good, Good body inside. shots in there, too. Oh, my God. To build the rhythm in the middle yeah. rounds and then come on as the fight goes on, and he's made a palpable step up here in round six. Yeah. But here comes Marquez. That was once again, Timmy missed his punch and got all It's three and four. Timmy Austin eats out the first two, and three and four, Marquez starts the... But then in rounds five and six, Timmy Austin once again. Marquez diving over the top with the right hand. Uppercut by Austin. Drives Marquez back. Body shot helps as well. Both the guys are pounding. And pick and peck and, and outscore Marquez easily. Yeah, he's, going, he's got to put them together. Unless he scores a knockout. It's going to take some bravery on Marquez's part to turn this back around. Yes, I think if Here he goes score. with the right hand but shot. He's got to put them together. Combinations. Now they're trading. And now Marquez steps into a room. Tim is giving him an angle right now and is getting away with it. He's not getting hit that. Austin beating Marquez to the punch as he came off the ropes. 
driving him back with another left. Very good round. Marquez Tim Austin in the seventh. Marquez is thinking to systematically losing the fight. Copy box numbers in the last round. Austin 22 out of 71. Marquez 6 out of 45. Marquez listening to his trainer and trying to come forward again. He's got to keep that pace. Very, very slow. In his dinner. But, but right now, oh my God. That was that, a that's a power punch. Shot. That's a power punch. Both guys have been hurt. Austin hurting with danger. Oh. Gets hit with the right hand. Marquez dramatic. Both, both, guys, both guys are tired now. But this is the kind of fight Rafael Marquez can win. But Timmy can do it too, I believe, in his country. It's very interesting to have two little guys punching like heavyweights. Ab comes to life as Marquez rocks up to him and knocks him through the ropes. He's got a long fight. way to go. The fight will start early this round. It's going to be a long round. position to throw punches as long as they can stay in close like this you have to remember that in one fight that tim austin fought with a broken jaw and came back and won but the fight is over stopping this one stopping this one and stopping the unbeaten streak of tim austin's career and two cincinnati kids have begun down tonight Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 20 seconds in round number eight. Our referee in charge, Vic Draculich, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, he is the new IBF Bantamweight champion of the world, Rafael Marquez.